Good afternoon to all my wonderful viewers out there. Welcome back to another drop list video, the series where we cover all the items that are releasing in specific weeks for various different brands. And in today's episode, we're going to be covering all the items that are releasing in week three of Palace Skateboards' Ultimo 2020 collection. Whoa, 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 whoa. I know, some of you are probably like, Daniel, but you didn't cover week 16 of Supreme's Fall Winter 2020 collection, and all you did was a streetwear talk video covering the North Face collaboration that released in that week. Well, you know what? You're 100% right. <laughs> I, uh, what happened was, is Monday, Tuesday, was uh, writing, it, uh, recording, and editing week, uh, sorry, episode 12 of the podcast. Then Wednesday was a continuation of editing and trying to get it uploaded on time, but also recording, editing, and uploading the, uh, you know, North Face collaboration coverage there, which by Thursday didn't give me a lot of time to cover the drop list for week 16. Now, Thursday also was the 21st birthday of one of my high school friends. So instead of staying home, editing, recording, uploading week 16's drop list, I went and celebrated the 21st of a high school friend. Sorry. <laughs> I know, right? Priorities. How dare I? Uh, so what I'm looking to do is cover uh, Ultimo week three in this video, obviously. Edit it, upload it before the drop, and then after Palace drops today on Friday, I will then record, edit, and upload week 16. So yes, week 16 is going to come after the drop time for the US drop, but technically I'm still covering week 16 before it drops in Japan. So well, the Japanese viewers, if there even is any out there that watch this channel, will be getting the drop list on time. Everyone else is missing out though. Europe and the US are already like, Daniel, you're too slow. <laughs> <laughs> Which, I mean, fair enough, guys. I'm sorry I wasn't able to manage my time better. Working every day just really, like, cuts into video time. But it's not going to prevent me covering Palace on time. No, we're getting to it. So, yes, guys, we're going to be covering week three of Palace's Ultimo 2020 collection today. <sighs> Unfortunately, it doesn't look like we're getting any of the seasonal items in this week. It looks like the only items we are getting this week is the Arc Herix collaboration, which I have nothing against, but also at the same time, I'm getting a little bit nervous because the last time I said that, the last time I said that there are no seasonal items releasing because this is a collab week, one of my favorite items released that week secretly, and I missed out on it. If you recall, I think it was week two of the winter collection. So I'm just gonna say this as a disclaimer. The only items that looks like it's releasing this week is the collab items but be warned palace might pull a sneaky on us like they did in the winter 2020 collection and drop some of the seasonal items in there as well so if you want to play it safe be there at the drop time for palace's drop which is 11 a.m gmt time today friday the 11th of december now in order to cover all of the items that are releasing or at least that we know are releasing this week is by using a Hypebeast article that I have prepared for us today. We'll head on over there now and we'll cover the release details, all the pieces releasing, and my thoughts and opinions on week three of Alice's Ultimo 2020 collection. And here we are, guys. As always, if you want to have a look at this article, take any images from this article, it will be linked down in that description section below. So head on down there if you want to have a read of it now. But what we'll do is we'll dive into it cover all the release details, and then we'll dive into all the photos that we have of what's releasing in week three. Let's jump in. So Palace and Arc'teryx aim to unify skate and climb culture with Fall Winter 2020 collaboration. Set to release globally today, Friday, December 11th, 2020. Now, a lot of people are a bit iffy on Arc'teryx collaborating with anyone because Arc'teryx, from what I know, have come out on record saying they don't care about the hype, they care about the quality of their product. I don't doubt that. But collaborating doesn't necessarily mean it's going to affect the quality of their product. I think people are just getting a little bit up there and a little bit crazy about it just because, well, I don't know, they have nothing better else to do. You know, go do something else instead of complaining about Arc'teryx and Palace collaborate. 
Uh, what is quite interesting though is uh, what the price point of this is going to be. Because Arc'teryx is a good brand with good quality, it comes with a not so good price tag. I can't even give you estimates of what I think this collaboration is going to cost per piece, but yeah, it's going to be hefty. It's going to be a hefty one. Um, personally, I have high hopes for this. I hope there are some pieces in this collaboration that I like. I'm not a huge climb, climbing gear kind of guy. I love Americana. Give me varsity jackets, give me sweaters, hoodies with that iconic spell out of like schools on the chest in that arc style. Love it. That's exactly what I love. So this collection here probably won't have anything that I'm really, really feeling. But of course, come on, we got to cover it anyway because it's week three. Let's get into this article though and see what it has to say for us. After recently linking with the likes of uh, the that vodka brand, uh, Kai, Kai, I, um, the Sea Rock and uh, Moschino, London-based Palace now continues its late. Uh, foray of 2020 collaborative releases by uniting with outdoors label Arcteryx to mark the Canadian uh, the Canadians brands first ever fashion collaboration to go to market there you go so this is Arcteryx first ever collab which is why little, some people were a little bit iffy about it because they didn't want Arcteryx to collaborate with anyone they just wanted to focus on delivering a good product look I can understand why they're collaborating Palace releases climbing gear all the time and they've collaborated with the likes of various other climbing gear brands. This only makes sense that something would come along with Arcteryx. I'm not incredibly disappointed by this. I think it's totally, you know, understandable why this is coming out. They're a concise outdoors inspired collection designed to bridge skate and climb culture. The two labels celebrate the uh, irre irreverent and ar anarchic nature that has historically existed throughout both communities. Ranging from Gore-Tex hard shell pieces and insulated jackets to packs, beanies and t-shirts, this debut collaboration intends to allow the transition between mountain and city environments to happen seamlessly. Paying homage to original camaraderie that connects skaters and climbers, both Palace and Arcteryx have been growing simultaneously over the past decade, with its scenes rooted familiar, familiarly in style, form and the great outdoors. Set to launch December 11th, 11am 11 GMT, the Arcteryx X Palace collaboration will be available by, via Palace's web store as well as in store while, the drop, uh, while it drops on December 12th at 11am Japanese time in store and online across Japan and will also be made available on, uh, in China on December 19th at Arcteryx's store in Shanghai, Beijing and Shin, Shinju as well as via Arcteryx's WeChat. So it does release a week later in China. So it doesn't release next day like Japan does, it releases next week, but it also releases in the physical stores as well. So you can pick it up from the physical stores if you live in China and if you're, I don't know, able to watch YouTube videos and watch this video to get those release details if you're a Chinese viewer out there. <laughs> I don't know if you can or can't in China, but anyway, well, that is the quick lowdown of the collaboration with the release details. Uh, it is releasing today, Friday, 11 a.m. GMT time, December 11th. Uh, let's dive into these 31 photos, guys, and have a look at what's releasing in this collaboration. And also, of course, everything that is releasing in week three. Well, again, I... I, I say everything releasing in this week very optimistically, thinking that these are the only pieces releasing this week, but I have faith. I feel like because Palace hasn't posted anything on Instagram besides this collaboration, that this is the only thing that is releasing in week three. But again, as I've mentioned numerous times in this video, they could pull a sneaky and just literally release a couple seasonal items just because. Hopefully that's not the case, but let's dive into it. So we had this promo photo. In this case, it was actually a video, but they've obviously screen capped it. Of the collaboration, we have the Trifurg logo being spelt out, well, sorry, showcased with a bunch of birds forming in it. And then the Arcteryx uh, logo down the bottom there. Next, we'll have the, yeah, the editorial showcasing it. So it looks like we're getting hoodies, beanies, and bags in this collaboration, and backpacks, and jackets by the looks of it. Co-branded jackets are going to feature in this one. Co-branded hoodies, as we just talked about. That it just doesn't showcase the collaboration at all, but we'll keep going. We've got a hoodie and a beanie being showcased here. We've got a jacket and a beanie being showcased here. A very zoomed-in image of Arcteryx and Palace branding. 
Again, another zoomed in photo. And now we actually get to dive into the pieces. So as we can see here, we have a Gore-Tex down jacket, Arc'teryx and dual branding on the sides. It, it kind of just looks like a generic Gore-Tex palace jacket with um, dual branding on it. It doesn't really, I don't know, break any boundaries in the collaboration world, does it? But I suppose it doesn't have to, but it kind of would have been nice to have something crazy. I'm hoping there's like a big Triferg on the back of it, or at least Arc'teryx's big like skeletal logo on the back of it. Okay, next we've got a um, puffer jacket styled more like a Boltoro North Face jacket where it comes up over the mouth, you know, to cover you completely. Uh, Arcteryx and Palace written on the left breast here, but again, if I was to put a little bit of duct tape over the branding on the left breast, would you be able to tell me it's either Arcteryx or Palace? Not really. There's not many other signs here that tell us that. I mean, these shoulder pads here are big enough that you could probably even have slapped some like Trifergs on it or something. It is looking a little bit bare and very minimal minimalistic. I mean, maybe that's to some people's, you know, taste. Maybe some people really like that. Next, we have another jacket, more of a tracksuit jacket done uh, with co-branding on the left breast and sleeve. Again, kept very minimal, nothing on the back. Next, we got some co-branded pants. Again, kept very, very minimal. Okay, now we've got something a little bit more louder, something that looks very more palace-esque, I would say. And um, what we have here is the Arcteryx skeleton logo featured on the front, Triferg logo for palace on the back, and Arcteryx, as well as dual branding on the hood there. I'm hoping that this is all embroidered and this as well with the Arcteryx logo, but I know that the palace logo will definitely be screen printed on the back. It's... It's all right. I like the colors. The colors of the hoodie is very nice. I like the little cuts and seams over here on the sides here. That adds a little bit of flavor to it. It does. Oh, wow. That's actually really nice. I really like that logo. Yeah. The peach one is actually quite nice. Normally, I'm not a huge fan of peach stuff, um, mainly because that's just not my color. It's not something I rock regularly, but that is actually quite nice. That is quite nice. What do you guys think of the peach one? I actually quite like that. Ooh, we got a lavender color as well. Not something that I would traditionally pick up, but that's just a really, really nice color. It's almost maybe considered like going for an item this week, but I'm trying to hold off. You know, it's Christmas. It's the, it's the month of savings and, you know, uh, big discounts and stuff like that. And that's where you dump all your savings on. So I don't know, but that's really nice. That's a really nice color. It's really well done. And I really like the logo on the front of it. It's really nice placement. It's just a really solid piece. We'll keep going on. Ooh, and a white and purple one. I like this. I've done really, really well with this color palette for the hoodies, at least. The jackets, I mean, the jackets were meant to be the highlight because, you know, that's where Arcteryx comes in in its prime and Palace also does well with its jackets as well. But honestly, the hoodies so far, they're actually tickling my fancy. I think these are actually the things that are going to do really well and are going to be really popular from this week. This is a nice color as well. I feel like a lot of people can get around this. We'll keep pushing on. See, now, even with this color, I'm not traditionally a guy that likes to wear a lot of brown. I would say that, but I wear my Perks and Mini undercover hoodie all the time. But brown is not my go-to color. But with this contrasting orange on it, it is nice. And actually, now with this orange one, uh, orange and brown one, it kind of looks like the palace logo is raised, like it's rubberized in a way. I don't know, maybe I'm just seeing things, but it kind of looks like this, the palace triferg is raised, this is embroidered, and this is embroidered. But I could be wrong. I definitely could be wrong. Not, wouldn't be the first time, you know? But this looks raised to me now. It looks like they've done like a rubberized triferg logo on the back. I don't know. We'd have to you'd have to check it when it drops or ideally try and go for it then check after the drop but yeah it's it's cool oh that's a nice color combo the black and gold or the black and yellow that's nice they've done a really really good job with the hoodies i really like the hoodies the tees again not even a huge downgrade white and gray was really smart white and gray has just been like the killer co uh, color combination this year people love that vintage look Navy and white, very nice. We got the return of the peach, return of the lavender. 
with what looks like 3M for the lavender. I don't know if that's the case for all of them, but that kind of looks 3M-y, you know? We got a, not even a mustard, like a very toned down yellow. Black, of course, can never go wrong with black. Ooh, it's a nice bucket hat. Nice jewel branded ones. I like this. It would have been nice to have just like this logo and then on the other side a triferg, but I don't mind the dual branded Palace Arcteryx here. That's not too bad. Next we got some caps. Not a huge fan of the caps, but I know this will hit off with a lot of Palace fans and a lot of Arcteryx fans, so I can see that selling really well. Lots of beanies. I can see this doing really well. I like the way that the graphic is done onto the beanie. It's knitted into it. That's really cool. We got a backpack. Uh, it's a very uh, climbing gear backpack for me, so I don't think I'd be wearing that with the outfits that I wear, so it wouldn't be something I'd be picking up. We got a waist bag. Again, I'm not a huge fan of waist bags, so that wouldn't be really for me, but that rounds it off. Okay, so that is everything that is dropping in week three, guys. Or at least, again, as I've been saying this whole video, everything that we know of. Uh, look, I'm gonna say, how do I feel about this collaboration in general? When I hear Palace and Arcteryx, I'm going to think some crazy insane jackets. When I actually got to the collaboration here, I was let down because the piece that I thought they would absolutely nail, kill, it would be an easy knock out of the park. It was kind of generic. It was boring. There wasn't too much going on. It was just a little bit of co-branding on like the left breast on every single piece. I'm falling asleep. I kind of wish they did a little bit more with the jackets. Uh, how do I feel about the rest of the collaboration ignoring the jackets? Well, when they came in with the hoodies, tees, the accessories like the bags and stuff, they did a pretty solid job. But again, I think when a lot of people think of this collaboration, they're going to think of the iconic piece, which is the jackets. And these are really, really boring. I'm going to say it. They're, they're not doing too much. So yeah, uh, look, I, it, I all in all, the majority of the collaboration is good, majority of what's dropping in week 3 is good, but I feel like they really missed the mark on these Gore-Tex jackets, these jackets, and even the pants. They could have done something a lot better here, but maybe I'm just feeling that way, maybe you guys disagree. How do you guys feel about everything dropping in week 3 and the Arcteryx collaboration with Palace in general? Uh, let me know all your thoughts and opinions on this collaboration and week three down in that comment section below. And that's everything I've got to say about week three, guys. Uh, it is a collab week, as we mentioned at the start of the video. Will we get seasonal items? Well, that's all up to Palace. So be there at 11 a.m. GMT time on palacescateboards.com to pick up a piece if they do release seasonal pieces or maybe you're after the Ar Arcteryx collaboration. I want to hear from you guys though, you know, we covered the release details, we covered all the pieces, we covered my thoughts and opinions. I want to hear your thoughts and opinions. How do you feel about the Arcteryx collaboration? Is it a yes? Is it a no? Do you feel the same way on how I felt with the jackets that that is the iconic piece that they needed to nail and they didn't nail it or they could have done more with it? How would have you changed the collaboration? What would have you added? What would have you taken away? I want to know all your thoughts and opinions on the Arcteryx collaboration specifically down in that comment section below. And of course, guys, if you guys want me to keep covering upcoming Palace weeks, upcoming Palace collaborations, or just upcoming streetwear releases in general, don't forget to leave a big old like on this video, a comment in the comment section down below, and a subscribe to the channel as we are trying to aim for a new milestone on the channel before the end of the year, which is 2,800? Uh, 2,800 subscribers. We need like less than 10 subs. So if you share the channel around, tell a mate, and then they tell another mate, we could easily hit 2,800 subscribers before the end of the year. With your continuous support, guys, I feel like we could definitely hit it. But that's everything I got to say about uh, the drop list for week three of Palace's Ultimo 2020 collection, guys. Uh, good luck to all of you if you are looking to pick up a piece from it. But until the next Palace video, until the next drop list video, until the next streetwear talk video in general, guys, I'll catch you later.